Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with compression accidents. In Power Automate Desktop, we are having two compression accidents. One is zip file, another one unzip files. First of all, we'll see what is zip files. A zip file is a single file containing one or more compressive files that supports lossless data compression. This is the ideal way to make large files smaller and keep related files together. Sometimes we'll call these zip files as archives also. Zip files generally use the file extensions .zip. Zip files or compressor files take up less storage space and can be transferred to other computers more quickly than uncompressed files and make transporting, emailing, downloading, and storing data more efficient. All right, now we will work with zip files. Let me drag and drop these zip files onto the workspace. Now we'll see the parameters of zip file actions. First of all, we'll start with files to zip. What files you need to zip or compress the files. Over here, what you can compress, you can compress files as well as the folders. Let me show you an example over here. On my desktop, I'm having a folder with the name of Power Automate Desktop. Inside this folder, Power Automate Desktop, I'm having documents. This is the folder where I can have a lot of files over here. If you see, I'm having n number of files related to the presentation as well as Excel files, text files, documents, and different licenses also I'm having over here. All right, now what I want to do, I want to zip these files. Over here, you can zip the files as well as the folders. All right, now what I want, I want to compress this entire Power Automate desktop over here by using my zip files action. Now, what are the files I need to zip it? Let's see over here, you can see there are two options. One is to zip the files and also to zip the folder. Okay, now I will select the entire folder so that what will happen inside the files also, it will create the zip files. All right, on the desktop, I'm having Power Automate. Inside that, I'm having subfolders also and also the documents, right? So that I will select Power Automate desktop as my folder to zip it. Now, now we'll talk about the archive path. Now, if I'm going to zip it, where I need to store this entire file? Where I need to store that file? So as I said, the file extension is .zip. Let me click on browse. Now on my desktop, I'm having one folder with the name of desktop. Over here, I'm having new folders. Let me click on open. Now over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder that is archive folder. Archive folder extension is .zip, all right? The file name I'm going to give it as test.zip. Let me click on open. Now what will happen, whatever the files and folders we are having in the Power Automate desktop folder, it will compress all the files and folders and it will create a new new file with the name of test.zip. All right, now we'll talk about the compression level. If you see over here, I'm having different compression levels over here. One is none, best speed, best balance of speed and compression, best compression. Based on the, you, if you're going to the higher of the compression, so what will happen, the smaller it will create the file. But in the same time, it will take longer time to create this file. If you say, if you're going to select best speed, it will be create a file, test.gif file, and it will take less time, and goes on, it will be decreasing the size of the file, and then it will take more time to create it. All right, now, as a best practice, we are going to select best balance of speed on compression. Now, password. Over here, why we require password? For and suppose, if you are going to transfer this file through emailing, so what will happen over there, you will compress it. Because of it will reduce the size and also it will be very faster whenever you are going to send it, right? And also whenever sending through internet, what will happen, some hackers will hack it. So at that time, it is better to use the password. That's the reason we'll use the password. All right, now what I will do, I'll give some password over here. Now, archive comment. What is the purpose of this test.zip file? If you want any comments over here, I'll just give it as test over here. All right, 
Now the entire path, what are the archive path that you are going to select, it will be stored in the chip file. All right, let me click on save to know the flow executed or not. So that what I will do, I will just simply display a message over here. I will make a title as flow and message to display as flow completed or flow process. All right, let me click on save. Before going to run this flow, let me show you the path over here. If you see in this path, we are going to create test.jip. All right. To make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep flow as well as the folder side by side. Now let's run the flow. Flow execution started and you can see over here, it has been started jipping the files. All the files, whatever you have, I'm having n number of files in the documents so that you can see over here, the test.jip file has been created in the given path. All right, now if you see the flow has been executed successfully. Let me click on OK. Now if you see in my test, I'm having a lot of all. Let me double click on that. You can see whatever the power at my desktop folder I have given, all the files have been compressed by using zip file action. All right, I hope you understand how to work with zip file action. Now, I have zipped the files. Now I want to unzip the files. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, there is one more action that we have. So that is unzip files. Let me drag and drop this unzip files onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters over here, archive path, which one do you want to unzip? That is here, if you see, I'm going to select the same test.zip. I have selected test.zip and click on open. Now, which file you want to unzip? That is zip, test.zip file. Now, where is the destination? Where you want to unzip all the files? Now, I will select some other folder over here or in the same location, I will unzip it, okay? Now, in the same folder, I'm going to unzip it. That is with the folder name test, I'm going to give directly. And over here, for the test.zip, I have given some password. So, I'm going to give the same password over here to unzip it. All right. Now, if you see, there are two things over here. One is include mask, another one exclude mask. What is the purpose of these things? It's a kind of filters. If you see in my documents, I'm having a lot of documents like PPTs, text, Excel files, and after the document files that I'm having, and even you can find the licenses also, right? Now, by using unzip file action, what will happen when you are going to include the mask, only that it's a kind of filter it will work. Like let us assume if I'm going to give star.txt. Okay, what will happen in that case? It will filter, it will unzip only the that particular files. All right, I will show you that one also. For the time being, I'm not selecting anything and then I, I'm going to click on save. All right, let me disable this zip files for the time being. Let me disable this action. Now let's run the flow. Flow execution has been started. And you can see over here, test folder has been created and internally what it is going, it is uh, started unzipping the files and it is trying to extract all the files which we are having in the test.zip files. Now flow has been executed successfully. Now let me click on OK. Now let me open the test folder over here. If I open this test folder, what is happening inside that there is the power at my desktop. And you can see inside that I'm having a lot of folders, right? Daily reports, I'm having some, some files over here. And also in the document documents, I'm having all the files over here. You can see over here, employees, all the PPTs which we have, all the things files have been extracted by using unzip files action. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to include the mask over here. Let me double click on the unzip files action. Over here, what I'm going to do, I want to extract only .ppt files. I'm having a lot of files in my uh, test.jip, but I want to extract only ppt related, like presentation related only the documents I need to fetch it out. So in that case, what I will do, I will go for the star dot .pptx. I will give it. So the extension of this uh, presentation is .pptx, right? So before that, I'm going to give it as a star so that what will happen, it will extract all the files related to the PPT. Let me click on save. 
Now, before running this flow, I will delete this test so that you will understand what kind of files that you are going to extracting. All right. Now, let's run the flow once again. Now, if you see flow execution started, it has created with the folder name that is test over here while unzipping the files or extracting the files. Now, if you see flow has been executed successfully, let me click on OK. Now, let me open the test folder over here. Inside that, you can see Power Automate Desktop. Inside that, let me go to the documents over here. Now, if you see over here, all the files are related to the .pptx, nothing but PPT related files only. But if you observe the original file that I were having text files, documents, as well as different files, extension files related, right? But all the files are not extracted because of we have given the filter that is included over here, right? Include mask we have given it as .pptx, all right? That is the reason where you are extracting only PPT related files only you are going to be extracting. Now, I will give you a scenario. Let us assume I want PPT as well as the dot, uh, document files. In that case, what you can do, you can give semicolon over here and then you can mention star.docx. So that what it will do, it will extract related dot .pptx as well as dot .docx files also. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And if you see over here, test has been test folder has been created and it extracts the files related to PPT as well as the documents. That is word document related files it will extract. Flow executed successfully. Now let me go to the test folder over here. And if you see in the Power Automate desktop, inside that we are having documents, inside that we we need to get both. If you see dot .ppt as well as the dot .docx files also, you got it as part of this. Include mask. All right, let me click on OK. I hope you understand how to include mask or filter to extract dot .pptx files on dot .docx files. Now, I will give you a small assignment over here where you need to exclude the mask or exclude the filters related to the p related to text files nothing but over here you need to uh, exclude only dot txt files and then you want to extract the remaining all the files okay i'm just going to give it as an assignment it's not a big assignment for you it's a small assignment over here and then reply me in the comments i hope you understand how to work with compression actions as part of this tutorial Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.